Hello and welcome to another edition of TCI Behind the Scenes. I'm your host, Yasmin Rigby Blues. We're down at Flamingo Crossing, a development that's going on by a local developer, Mr. Baron Duncanson. Good morning, Mr. Duncanson. Good morning, Yasmin. And we've been here before. And we'd like to find out more about what's going on. Now, since we've been here, we've seen the construction of the condo area, which is um, Carib Club. Tell us about the project on a whole. Refresh our memory. Well, as you may remember, Flamingo Crossing is the subdivision, which is the whole community. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have now 80% of those homes are sold. The second phase of that community development was always intended to be the apartment condos on the lake. Okay. and they're in two acres of the whole 12-acre uh, community. Okay. And those are what are under construction and being finished uh, as we speak. How many homes, and tell me the types of homes in, in the complex? Uh, there are two, three, and four-bedroom model homes. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the uh, homes that were sold were actually three-bedroom uh, that people chose. But the, we have available two, uh, there are two two-bedroom homes that are left, two lots that are capable of taking Mm -hmm. two-bedroom uh, homes that we were planned to allow um, on a certain row and uh, <clears throat> there are a couple lots left uh, for three-bedroom or four-bedroom homes mm -hmm. so that's what's available um, so we still have the homes that are that's a few lots that are available for, for home building but uh, our primary um, uh, focus right now is the apartment condos and the wonderful uh, rent to own program that we've just uh, been promoting yeah uh, and now uh, you were telling me about that earlier um, it sounds fantastic once you you don't you put you take it as a rental but all of this can go towards actually owning it that's correct uh, it's a professional community it's a community of professionals it, at Flamingo Crossing and the Carib Club condos the homes were most um, attractive to, to especially family purchases young and older family members mm -hmm. and the condos is uh, perhaps more attractive to uh, to uh, professionals that are uh, bachelor, bachelorette types. Mm -hmm. But um, <clears throat> what you can do with the, uh, a, the purchase of an apartment condo is in the same way that one would rent an apartment elsewhere, mm -hmm. starting from rentals of $1,000 a month and $1,500 a month. Uh, we have a studio one bedroom and two bedroom options okay. where uh, units can be combined to make a two bedroom um, uh, uh, arrangement. But um, every dollar of mm -hmm. the rent is counted towards the purchase. And we structure it in such a way that within over a 24-month lease period, the, the, uh, the purchaser may have as high as $60,000 that they've saved up mm -hmm. uh, just through sheer rental. And yes. that's $60,000 they're taking to the bank. Wow. You know, yes. Okay. So tell me some of the amenities that will be on this property. Um, amongst the, um, uh, just the general amenities being the barbecue area and the, uh, the uh, Vita course in the park, mm -hmm. We have a uh, planned gymnasium with uh, a pool and jacuzzi mm -hmm. that form the club. Yeah. And so all of the uh, members of the, uh, of the apartment condo complex, actually all the owners have immediate access and renters have immediate access to that club. Um, of the home purchasers, there will be a program allowed where they can, they can, for a monthly fee, have access to the club. Okay. That was by popular demand. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> well, of course, if we're on the premises, why can't we use the gym and the, um, and the pool? Oh, gosh, and definitely the jacuzzi. <laughs> yeah. So how many units um, are in Carib, Carib Club? Uh, total plan units of 48. 48. Uh, the current building being finished is 24, but there will be 48 uh, um, total units. Oh, so we've seen this and the construction. You've got another one coming. Yes. Okay, and um, any time frame on when the first one will be completed? We're looking to finish that in the next three months. Okay, wow. So how has the response been so far for Carib Club? I knew it was launched um, early last year. Yes. Okay, and um, I know that you got quite a lot of um, people who were interested, and I know we've had a bit of a downturn in, in the economy. So how has it been going for you? We found that this, uh, this marketing uh, campaign with the rent to own has been the, most, the best received okay. uh, by far in uh, the current uh, economic climate. I think that uh, the message that's being sent to, uh, to purchasers or potential purchasers out there, look, save your rent money. Yes. <laughs> uh, and even if you don't want to, there's no commitment to buy. 
Right. You know, one can actually just walk away from the contract and just leave it as rent. Mm -hmm. But you would have paid rent anywhere else anyway. Yeah. But uh, if you actually have a contract with us, you can sell the contract at the end of the day. Okay. That's money, you know. Okay. So that is a savings. And uh, I think that message is being well received. We've gotten a lot of uh, great positive response just in the, in the first few weeks of the campaign. Wow. So great response. About how many would you say are ready to just sign on? I, I couldn't say how many. Those who are, who are saying that they want to sign on, there's, you know, it's, it's, it's a good... Uh, a good number, not higher than 10, but okay. it's a good number. Yeah. Uh, of those that we've actually uh, sent out packages to are, are dozens. Okay. Yeah. Locally or um, internationally? Well, as well, we've only started uh, advertising locally okay. on the campaign. Uh, it's thought that those being a rent to own campaign, those mm -hmm. people living here. Yes. Um, expatriate uh, islanders, um, those who see themselves. I, I had one gentleman from America who was a um, retirement age, mm -hmm. wants to buy one through the rent to own campaign for his brother-in-law. Okay. And so he doesn't live here at the moment, yeah. he, but he's, had, he's been coming to Provo for, since 1984, he told me. Okay. And uh, he, he thought it was a good idea for, for his brother-in-law, even though they'd be coming on and off. It, was, it made perfect financial sense. Easier to buy than, than even a finance arrangement, uh, certainly than buying all in cash. Mm -hmm. But uh, our rent to own uh, campaign was like a, a developer's finance for him. And, okay. and he's, uh, he's interested. Tell me some of the other um, attractive things that um, one would look at in making the decision to move here. I think that <clears throat> the decision to move to the islands. No, to, to move, move to, to a here. Carib club. Yeah. I think that um, one is looking at a gated community. It's secure. Um, people know their neighbors, mm -hmm. uh, which is a good thing. Yes. <laughs> and. Um, it's, it's a, a community that's off the beaten track sort of, sort of way. It's yeah. also um, got all the amenities and features that we have, which includes the barbecue area, the, um, the Vita course in the park, mm -hmm. um, and, of course, the gym and club facilities. And um, that's, a, that's really a really good package combined because, as you know, Yasmin, Provo doesn't have very many planned communities. No. Uh, there are areas in the island where people spend, can spend many millions of dollars mm -hmm. for a home, yes. but yet there's still not a planned community. The road may not be paved. All our roads are paved now. I was about to say. Uh, the road <laughs> may not be paved. The, un the utilities may not be underground. There may be power lines everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so a, a properly planned community with utilities underground, paved roads, uh, you don't see that very often in Provo. Right. And uh, there's some areas where the homes are going for many millions of dollars and they still don't have a planned community uh, in the neighborhood. Yes. So to, to be able to drive from pavement the minute you leave, you step out, step immediately, uh, put foot outside your house, mm -hmm. to be driving on pavement yes. straight the way through onto Leeward Highway, to Leeward mm -hmm. Extension Road and all the way to, to, the, to work or wherever you go, um, that in itself is unique yes. in, in Provo. It's not, not too many examples of that within a community. Um, and I noticed the um, landscaping for each of the homes, they're actually yes. done. Yes, um, we do a basic landscaping and each owner extrapolates from that okay. and does their own thing, so to, so to speak. And we're proud that of what some of our owners have done in putting in you know, massive trees and, and beautiful flowers. It's been very good. Okay, and it's, of course it sits right across from the Provo Golf Club. Yes. So you've got a beautiful view, like from here, <laughs> of what's going on over there. I can see a few golfers out there today. Yes, it's, uh, it's a very popular day, of course, here on the weekend, um, especially for golf. Um, so it's, it's <clears throat> a wonderful uh, atmosphere that one has just from one's balcony at the Carib Club. Uh, you can sip your tea, <laughs> and it's total serenity. You can hear when you're not looking at the flamingos in the lake, Mm -hmm. There are ducks, pelicans, all sorts of, uh, of wildlife, birds. It's uh, like a, a nature reserve in the backyard. Yes. And I think it's another thing that makes us really, really unique and special. Um, it's a, just a gorgeous inland view. As, mm -hmm. as, I, I, no one really, I, I don't think, has a view like this right. um, outside of us. But, uh, and then also I, like, I call it the $50 million view. <laughs> view over the whole golf course. Yes, that's, yes. that's, that's <laughs> what that's I was really, thinking. Yes. It's gorgeous. Well, I, was, I couldn't put a number to it, but I'd say it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I love the golf course. 
myself. Um, play just a tiny bit of golf, but um, I think golfing is pretty, pretty fun and relaxing. And you always hear, like right now, the birds in the back chirping, and it gives you that peaceful serenity. Like you say, that yes. serenity. You can just right now hear the birds chirping. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and so we've got the birds, we've got serenity, we've got um, gorgeous. Um, how, how big would you say the biggest apartment is? Uh, just under 1,500 square feet. Okay. Just, uh, just oh, well, actually, two bedroom combined, one bedroom studio is actually just under 1,600 square feet. Okay. Uh, but the penthouse units, two bedroom penthouse units that are just over 1,500 square feet and uh, the, the two bedroom combined uh, option is just about 1,600 square feet. Uh, a studio 684 and a one bedroom is uh, just under 900 square feet. Okay. The name Flamingo Crossing, is that because of the flamingos that come here? What do you think? Um, <laughs> seriously, no. Yes, uh, we were looking in the, in the beginning, uh, almost four years ago, we were looking for a name for the for the community, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> and I said to the to the marketing uh, lady at the time, I said, I, I want something to do with flamingos. We have okay. flam there's flamingos in that lake. Yes. Every year they come. Uh, I want something, and of a short list of something like 20 names <laughs> uh, that she generated using the name the word flamingo. Flamingo, flamingo crossing is what I chose. That's, okay. Uh, it was different. Yes, <laughs> and. What made you, I mean, you're a lawyer really by profession, what made you get into developing? Well, uh, there, was a, there, was a, there was a certain confluence of events, let's call it, that, uh, that happened at a certain time and there was an opportunity to actually uh, develop some land. I had a, a client that uh, literally wanted, because the property was in distress, wanted uh, my assistance and um, actually the property was saved from the auctioner, you know, mm -hmm. auctioner's block, Okay. literally, literally. Oh, and wow. so, um, uh, that's what uh, I basically um, did that, got involved, and um, that's how it started. Okay. And uh, threw myself into it. Okay. Because it wasn't an option as to doing it just on the part-time or on the side. It, it, development takes a lot of energy, time, and effort. Hmm. It's not as simple as just dividing a bit of land and then, you know, it, it, it takes, it, it's, it's a full-time effort and focus, so, sort of, yes. How big is the property? Uh, it's now 12 acres. Okay. Uh, it started out at 10, but I, I bought a couple acres over time, extra uh, land that were neighboring the, the community, so the community's grown 20%. Okay. Oh, and let's see exactly how many how many how many homes? There are now 16 homes, uh, of which 14 are finished and two are in the middle of construction. Oh, we're still constructing. This is interesting. So. Um, have you been getting any more interest in the homes as opposed to the condos? We get uh, almost equal, we get about equal interest uh, between home and condo right now. Okay. Uh, interest in the homes was always heavy even when the market went soft Okay. in Provo uh, for construction. Mm -hmm. uh, ultimately families still need a roof over their heads, a full home, yes. as opposed to an apartment. <clears throat> uh, what we found that uh, bachelor and bachelorettes, people that were single, uh, were renting weren't perhaps as quick to, to be looking at buying a house. Uh, so that, that tapered off uh, tremendously when the market went soft. Yeah. But uh, with something like the rent to own program that makes mm -hmm. it so easy yeah. and makes it so easy to save money, mm -hmm. uh, that I'm finding as people, the message gets out and people hear about it, just yeah. a question of people knowing about it, yes. uh, that's generated a whole new range of interest. Okay. Well, we're down to about halfway through, so we're going to take a break, and we'll be back in a minute. Our services agents for G&G Shipping offer sailings into Provo twice a week. We ship all cargo from parcels and pallets to container loads, vehicles, and heaving equipment. Our custom brokerage department is always available to clear your shipment promptly. We own and operate a fleet of delivery vehicles and can easily accommodate same-day service. Our Services Limited, taking care of all your shipping needs door-to-door. -door. For more information, call our office at 941-3267 or 941-5411. Discount Liquors and Wine Centers, the Turks and Caicos leading supplier of wine, spirits and beer for more than 19 years. The island's largest selection of wine from around the world, 
also representing many of the world's premium spirit brands, as well as the island's number one bear, Coors Light. So don't forget to come in or look online, e news all summer long. Check out our exciting wine and bear special. Blue Notes News and Advertising Production Company is here in the Turks and Caicos to help you remember your precious moments. We produce weddings, funerals, birthdays, special moments, church events, you name it. Our track record speaks for itself on the quality. For more information, call us today at 649-331-6900 or email info at bluenotesinc.com. Welcome back to TCI Behind the Scenes. I'm your host, Yasmin Rigby Blues, and I'm chatting with... Mr. Baron Duncanson, local developer. Now, which do you prefer, developer, lawyer? I like developer <laughs> quite much. I, I quite like it. Oh, that's really interesting. I mean, because um, how long have you been in the in the law practice? Uh, since 1996. Okay. Um, uh, 97, fully qualified lawyer. But I was I was pretty much going to court from uh, I think the the first year of clerking at a law firm. Okay. And that had been about, uh, I think, 2000, 2000 night, sorry, 1991, 92. Wow. So about 18 years ago, I was, I probably stepped foot in court the first time about 18 years ago. Maybe I shouldn't have asked you that because people are thinking that you look so much younger. <laughs> Definitely yeah. not that many years. <laughs> so now you're into, well, of course, you're continuing that practice and you're also into development now. We got, a, got to have a look at, your, at the Carib Club, and I noticed some really interesting things about the penthouse. Uh, people begin to wonder, penthouse, but you have a penthouse um, floor. We have a penthouse floor of units. There are only, on this first building, three of those left. Okay. But um, 